Hey, Ryan Michael Galloway here with We Don't Need No Stinking Record Company dot com, and um, I wanted to talk to you about how things, some more dots can connect together. We talked about goals and strategies and tactics. Now let's get really down to some from some step by step kind of things. At least uh, it's it's difficult to talk about step by step because everybody's step by step is going to be a little bit different. Um, Seth Godin came out today and said, everybody wants to know what to do. They want me to tell you what to do exactly. And the fact is that then you can say, if it doesn't work, oh, it's Ryan's fault, right? He told me to do this and it didn't work. Now, I'm going to point you in the right direction. I'm going to give you some of the steps, but you're going to have to kind of put this thing together for yourself at some point. But if you think you've done enough, I'm going to try to explode your brain right now and prove to you that maybe you haven't, um, unless you've done you know, every kind of thing that I'm about to describe. But I'm going to talk to you about uh, what I'm doing in the book world. In the music world right now, which they, they, they fit together in that I'm trying to prove that I can walk the walk and talk the talk, right? I'm not only an advisor, but I'm a musician. I'm a performing musician and one that's moving their own CDs and, and doing a lot of playing. I will say on the regional level, in, in my area, I can't walk into a store most of the time without getting recognized, and that's very cool. It's also a lot of responsibility. I always have to kind of look the part at least a little bit. And, uh, um, you know, that's great. We're moving that up step by step by step, but it's not there yet, and the act that I've just put together is relatively new. And having a chance to play a ton, which I have had recently, is great, because, again, it's my laboratory, and I can figure out not only how to play my... Uh, music, but how to play the room and, and do things uh, with pacing and connection with people and those kinds of things. So all that's moving in the right direction, but the, uh, the authorship stuff is a little further on right now. So I want to share with you what I'm doing. I go out to a place uh, called Tube Mogul. The neat thing about Tube Mogul, there's a limit to how much you're allowed to do without paying a lot of money, but for free you can do um, pretty much as, as many uploads of video that you want to, and in my case it's video blogs, because as I told you before, I've got Asperger's Syndrome and I can't shut up. So it's perfect for me to just get in front of a camera and talk, right? So I have a Tube Mogul, and Tube Mogul allows me to upload a video and then distribute that video to multiple sites. Not every site has got connectivity, but a lot of them do, and it's pretty cool. So without paying any money, I've got at least like 10 or 11 sites, including Twitter, which might even make 12, that I can send out to. Each one of those is considered uh, one broadcast. And you're limited to 300, and as you know, I'm doing one every night. So, um, I only broadcast to the world at large, to all these connected sites, once a week. But, you know, basically, I, I upload my videos, um, I hit a button and it immediately connects to YouTube and, and transfers the video to YouTube and also transfers the video to, uh, I usually go to one other site and it's, it's one of my MySpace sites. Okay, boom, boom. I got, you know, with one upload I got three distributions or, or uh, um, it, or, well, two distributions, I guess. So, that's great. That's a great place to keep them and manage my video blogs. Then, I manually go over and take a clip of some code and I put it onto a site that I've hosted by Tumblr, T-U-M-B-L-R.com. Tumblr actually allows you to use your own URL and it's free. It's awesome. So they give you tons of different templates that you can use to roll out this blog, but then you can automatically feed that video blog to post on your Facebook site. Okay, um, it doesn't easily go to your Facebook fan page, but it goes to your membership page, and I need to be in touch with all my uh, friends anyway, so I don't have a problem with that. And let's see, where else does Tumblr go? Um, it goes to Facebook. Um, I then set up my Facebook page so it'll automatically tweet that I got a new post. Another group of people I've got. I manually take the Tumblr video and I post it on my uh, Facebook fan page where you may be following me at uh, uh, www.facebook.com forward slash no stinking record company. From there, uh, when I manually post, I will also often tag other people if I've talked about them. 
Um, for instance, if I like the last one I talked about, uh, Ariel Hyatt. Well, maybe I'll tag Ariel when I load that on my fan page, and so it hooks up there. The next step I can do, by the way, is I can go out to every other musician and songwriting site that I can find, and if it's something that's pertinent to that group, I can post my um, video blog there because it's something you're going to find interesting. So I've fanned way out at this point. Then, by the way, I can connect that stuff to Reverb Nation and back, so those cross-function. And did I mention um, the Facebook page when it loads to the, the normal Facebook member page? It also sends a tweet out. I think I, I said that. So, um, on a weekly basis, going back to TubeMogul, it goes out to ten different video sites, including, you know, YouTube. Um, the rest of the time, Oh, oh, by the way, I also post on another site, I have to do this manually, called uh, Mixposure.com, which has got 4,000 musicians out there that go out and check them out. That's great stuff, too. So, uh, my point is that my videos are cross-posting all over the place. Now, um, supposedly when you do this, when you create um, the same content all over the place, that Google doesn't like it and it'll filter some of them out. But when your footprint is this big, they don't seem to be able to get rid of you. Go in and Google Ryan Michael Galloway and see if I don't own that lock, stock, and barrel for page after page after page. Um, again, it's the power of putting my video out on a very steady basis. Any news you can put out on yourself on a very steady basis. My point by telling you about all this connectivity and trying to connect some more dots for you is, look, if you're going to post, you're going to have to spread out. Um, it's also kind of an illustration of how powerful it would be to release your songs, to post your songs, for instance, on Reverb Nation or wherever you put it, one at a time, because that's a news story that, that if you were connected between all these different places, would just proliferate out. Each time you post it, you just go, boom, boom, you know, out this huge wave that you're sending out every time you do it. And that's great. You could upload 12 at a time and get one shot at the publicity, or you could do one a week for 12 weeks and get 12 different shots of the publicity. Why would you not do that? Well, you wouldn't do that because you want to make a big splash. No, no, much bigger splash to send it out incrementally. But only, only if you're hooked up to all these different places where it will, uh, it will bat around. Um, I didn't mention that also one of the places that I, I post out to is MySpace. Well, now MySpace is working an awful lot like uh, Facebook. Facebook and MySpace, if you post anything, all the people that are your friends will see what you posted. So again, it's another huge reverberating wave of uh, what's happening on, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Reverb Nation. Uh, of course, all your fans are going to hear about it out there if they're following you. But anyway, um, that's my story tonight. Connecting more dots for you. I am Ryan Michael Galloway. I'm hoping this is helping you put some things together and understanding that you cannot do this casually. You've got to go at it like you are fighting a war because basically you are. So the only thing is separating you out between the people and those that are uh, between you and the people that are in line trying out for American Idol. And I am, like I say, Ryan Michael Galloway, and you're we don't need no stinking record company.com. Thanks.